Hey guys, welcome to Bragg. Um, it's two o'clock, it's that time. Larry's closing doors. We moved to a different location. We're trying to uh, move around a little bit. Now they're going to be coming in that door okay, right good. now. Good. Happy Halloween, by the way. Hello, hello, <laughs> hello. Merry New Year. Happy Halloween. We look Halloween. exactly the same. <laughs> What do you mean? If you were wondering, we didn't dress up for Halloween. No, no. However, we do have a surprise for you of a couple of our uh, staff members that did dress up and are going to uh, join us here in a few minutes to show off their costumes for today. I know they'll be up, they'll be up here in just a few minutes. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm really excited that you guys are here. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, this is awesome, man. Uh, it's Halloween, right? Yep. Uh, if you haven't already, if you're just watching maybe for the first time, you can uh, get a free investor's kit. Call 877-LARRY-GO and you'll talk to the princess herself, Zenobia, <laughs> right? Yes, we have our own resident Indian princess and uh, she'll be in here in just a minute. But that's who answers the phone week in and week out for you guys that are calling in to get your investor's kits. Now, it's not a question and answer um, hotline or anything like that. It's, it's to get your your investor's kit, but she can direct you if you have questions as well. Um, so you can call 877-LARRY-GO or text the word B-R-A-G to 803-897-6063. And look, here she comes now, the princess. Our Indian Come princess. In. <laughs> We're just telling them to call. So these these ladies dressed up today. Hello. Can you see? Hello, she's in her Namaste. She's in her Indian attire. <laughs> Told you guys we had one. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't believe it. We have our own Indian princess. We sure right do. Right here in the U.S., right? Right down the hall. <laughs> right down the hall. I'm tangible. I love it. <laughs> tangible. Yes, she's tangible. <laughs> Not virtual, tangible. <laughs> she's That's what we're going to start saying. We don't have a virtual um, VA. VA. We have a tangible VA. <laughs> Oh, that is awesome. I love it. I love it. So then we also means hello everybody. <laughs> so then we also have uh Teresa who dressed up. This is the woman that we trust with our money. <laughs> Believe it or not. And she, if you <laughs> if you if you can't if you can't tell, she is a one night stand. <laughs> She can light you up. <laughs> Complete with light Not and so and, 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 uh, and dust bunnies. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, uh, you guys say that we have a lot of fun. We really do have a lot of fun. So you guys. <laughs> now, now, to hold on before you go. Oh my Teresa is actually Candace's mom. <laughs> Right? Yeah, you guys wonder why I'm crazy. This is it. This is it. This is the source. Here's the source. There you go. Right. Wonder how many views this brag episode is gonna get. They're taking care of our money, believe it or not. We do a good job. Right? You do. You do, you do a great job. <laughs> All right, guys. That's good. Thank you for being good sports and, and dressing back up. I know you. Thank you. Yeah, get on out of here. So that, that was, was our. Those were our, uh, our best costumes for today for Halloween. And uh, those are uh, ladies that are really good sports, and um, <laughs> we're even better sports for being able to come over and be on Facebook Live with that. So I know, right? you know, that's there really you cool. Go. But yeah, Z is our uh, Z is the person that's going to answer the call for the investors kit. Um, oh, text tell them what call. they get. Tell them Oh, what they in get. the investors kit, it's copies of the digital versions of the HUD Home Staff Off book, real estate day trading book, some training on our filthy riches model, um, wholesaling model, real estate day trading, um, some asset protection stuff, um, various things we just throw in there to try to give you guys some good value. Look. It's Van Halen girl right there <laughs> wearing your Van Halen shirt. Not today. Not today. Right? Today, today I am a proud sponsor of, I don't know if you guys can see this, but a Veterans Path Up. And they are an organization um, local here to Charlotte. They have several chapters around the country. But, um, yes, Ken Lacey and his crew over there do a, fan, a fantastic or phenomenal job of helping out our veterans, making sure that they get uh, safe housing, helping them get a new start. 
uh, into the civilian life when they've fallen on some hard times. So proud sponsor of Veterans Path Up this week. That's absolutely right. Awesome. And uh, guys, if you want to uh, win, this is something we've never done before. Get a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with me. Who Just did, a one-on-one. -on -one. Who decided that? Well, I really didn't talk to you about it first, but <laughs> just one, just one, right? You're going to have to send me your number and I'll call you, right? <laughs> I'll call you and we'll do a one-on-one -on -one coaching call. We're going to find out where you are, where you want to be, your likes, your dislikes, strengths, weaknesses, assets, liabilities, where you are now, where you want to be, and we'll come up with a game plan to get you there in the shortest possible time frame, right? How'd you like that? The shortest possible <laughs> time frame right there, right? So uh, share this video now. Share it right now. And we're going to pick one person. And uh, and you and I will get, a, get on a one-on-one -on -one coaching call. And I don't care if you're brand new, could barely spell real estate last week, or you own two or 300 properties. I'm sure I can help you come up with some sort of a game plan to help you take it to the next level or get started right away. Right, Candace? Or have a little more fun doing it. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. We don't have fun doing it. No. No, not at all. I'm so, really chained uh, like to a desk here. Y'all can't ever see that, but that's what happens. That's not true. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's not true. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. She's standing up <laughs> and, and look at our stand. There's our this stand our right there. This is our setup Because we, we wanted to, we wanted to, uh, Come to you live from our inner circle training room. This is our training room. You mind if I show this around a smidge? This is our training room right here. There's the whiteboard. There's all of our desk. We have, uh, we have how many people do we have coming we have next week? Coming next These week. are all testimonials right here on the wall of successful students that have been to our office, right? And are out doing deals and making money. And having fun, that's my office right there. And uh, it's tour day. trophies, a tour day, Candace says. <laughs> trophies, another whiteboard, more testimonials. These are just a very few. You know, like, look at this one right here, right? <laughs> that testimonial right there. Within three weeks of coming to our office, they did a deal and made $20,000 in profit, right? Here's our core values, mission statement, more testimonials. But this is our training room. It holds about 24 people. We have, uh, how many did you say, 22? 23 coming. 23 coming. So it's almost full. We do it about uh, once every, what, two months, something like that. Mm -hmm. And that, that's our partners that are coming, right? It's our partner program where our partners are coming to, uh, to, to, to get their business set up or to take it to that next level. Right. So... Uh, Anyway, there you have it. If you want to hear more about that, you can actually go and apply to be one of our partners. Go to LarryGoins.com forward slash apply, right? Does that make sense, Candace? Yes, it does. Think. Good. So did we announce our winner? No. You okay. just told them, like, if they share it, what the next winner is going to get. Oh, okay, good. So well, there is winner... our winner right there. You tell them while I go get my notes for what we're going to train about. Okay. I'll be back. Uh this week's share winner from last week's shares is Mary Gallardo. Now, last week we gave away a free HUD jumpstart. It's available on our website. Uh, for what's the price of the jumpstart on the website? Four ninety seven on the website. So this was a free gift now given to Mary Gallardo for uh, our share sponsor for last week. If you'll email in to customer service at Larry Goins, Mary, I will make sure that you are squared away with that access to the HUD Jumpstart. Awesome. Awesome. That's really cool. Good, 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 good. So uh, what's next, Candace? Deal of the week. Deal of the week. The deal of the week. Okay. Uh, I had a hard time coming up with a deal of the week right here. Uh, I had a hard time coming up with it, but the deal of the week I picked, I picked it for a specific reason. I'm buying two lots, two building lots in Hickory, North Carolina for $1,200, $1,200. Now, just about anybody, even if you had to close on them, you could, you could do that, put it on a credit card, beg, borrow everything, but steal you know, find somebody <laughs> that'll loan you twelve hundred dollars. But we're going to turn around and sell these for probably around six thousand a piece. 
right? 6,000 a piece. We're buying them for 600 a piece. And we're going to buy them for six or sell them for 6,000 a piece. They came from direct mail. It was somebody who owned it and the husband passed away. They didn't want them anymore. They'd owned them for years. They're just tired of paying taxes. And I told them, I said, look, little lots like that, there's not a whole lot of value in them. So we really usually typically only give two or three years worth of back taxes, not back taxes, but taxes uh, for the lots, right? So that's usually about all that we give for them. And, uh, but I said, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you, you know, 500 a piece. And then she said, would you give me at least 600 a piece? So 1200 bucks instead of a thousand. So I said, oh, you're killing me here. <laughs> so anyway, uh, for you partners, I recorded the call. You'll hear that on the, uh, we've got a Dropbox that where I record a lot of calls that I've done and do on a weekly basis. And I upload those for you, for you guys to be able to uh, listen to those as well. So that is the deal of the week. Two lots for 1200 bucks. Pretty cool, huh? All right. I was expecting you to say yes, Larry. It was. <laughs> I was looking at Manny's, Manny's uh, comment asking, uh, did you get out of the mud? Okay. <laughs> I've got to tell you the story. So I go to look at this lot because this lady. Not has, the same lots that he's talking about buying for the deal. No, 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 this no, not is the a different same set. Lots. I went, I went yesterday to look at a lot, a, a piece of land, 15 acres, right? And when I asked the lady on the phone how much you want to, for it, she said, I'll take $18,000. And this wasn't just one conversation, though. This right. was multiple conversations of going, of talking to this lady. It was multiple conversations. So I'll, every time, 18000 Yeah, 18000 18000 So I said, okay, I'll go look at it because that's a steal. It's probably worth about, I'm guessing about $100,000. Right? 15 acres, yeah, 18,000. So, yeah, something like that. So uh, I get out there, and they want to take me around and look at the lot, and I get my I get my Lexus four-wheel drive stuck in the mud, right? So <laughs> Not just stuck, marred up. Marred up. Look on Facebook. <laughs> you'll see it, okay? So, so here's the thing. We're sitting there talking, you know, just waiting on AAA to show up. And so I asked the lady, I said, is 18,000 the best you can do? And she paused and she said, you know, Larry, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll take 17,000 an acre. <laughs> I said, and it all of a sudden hit me an acre. Whoa, whoa, wh what are you talking about? That's well over $200,000. I'm like, is she crazy? But I can't just say, forget it. I'm out of here because I can't go anywhere. <laughs> right? My car is marred up in the mud a foot deep. <laughs> and literally what should have been a 30 or 45 minute meeting turned out to be four hours. I didn't get home until eight o'clock last night because it took me another hour to stop by the car wash and wash off all the mud out from under my car. Yeah, because the mud he got stuck in is uh, South Carolina blackjack mud. <laughs> and that's not uh, that's not easy mud to just, well, one, pull out of, but two, get off of anything out of clothes, out of your hair, off your car. It's some it's some tough stuff. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So uh, we're going to talk about step-by-step -step direct mail. This is right? part two of last week when we went through some different uh, direct mail lists. So this is um, doing a, a setup of your right, direct right, mail, right? Right. Somebody, if you want to, you can create a message down below and write these down if you want to. Um, with direct mail, now direct mail is killer to get deals. We're getting some phenomenal deals right now with direct mail. Right, Candace? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So uh, number one with direct mail, the very first thing you have to do is establish your budget, establish your budget, whatever your budget is. I don't care if it's 500 a month, a thousand a month, two dollars a month, whatever it is. OK, I tell people you should try your best to establish a minimum of five hundred dollars a month. OK, that's actually in our partner agreement, a minimum, a minimum of five hundred dollars a month. OK, now. That's the first thing you do, establish your budget, jot that down. Second thing you want to do is who am I going to mail? Now, last week we talked about all the different types of lists you can mail, right? Right. So you can go back to last week's episode and kind of get an idea for certain list types to go into a certain niche that you're looking at, um, that you're looking at buying in. Exactly. So establish a budget and then who are you going to mail? Like, are you going to mail probate, absentee owner, code violation, delinquent taxes, whatever right? Uh, number three. 
So uh, how are you going to mail? Are you going to mail a postcard or are you going to mail a letter? We always mail postcards. It's the cheapest and they don't have to open it up. Okay? Right. And plus you may get some, uh, I don't, not strange uh, looks on those. What is that? Just um, where, because your post person is going to see it. Anybody who works in the post office could flip it over and see it. They may take a picture of it and give you a right. call off of something. So it's just like you get added people views on it if it's not in some type of envelope. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, so um, so we've got budget. Who are you going to mail? How are you going to mail? Postcard or letter? Next is you got to buy your list. You can buy it or you could get it free. Now there are many services out there, and we talked about them last week, like List Source. Uh, hey, Mama Teresa. <laughs> that was that was the uh, one night stand that was just in here, right? <laughs> okay, so. Um, there's list source, there's Melissa data, there's uh, um, there's just a bunch of different sources for lists, okay? Now, you can also mine your own list. You can either hire a VA or you can do it yourself. Right. You can look them up with the, with the uh, county or whatever it is you want to, okay? Um, next is, so you're going to buy your list or get it for free, mine it yourself. The next is what to mail. What kind of postcard or letter are you going to? And I will tell you this, we mail a different one every single month. And you know what's funny is we get different responses, don't we? Mm -hmm. That's true. We surely do. We also get some people that maybe they called and like I had a lady just last month and I think I mentioned this on one of the shows. Uh, she called and I was working with her for like, I would talk to her every week for like six weeks. And then she called up and said, yeah, I got a postcard in the mail. And I was calling about it. I said, Nancy, this is Larry. We've been talking every week. It's my postcard, <laughs> right? Right. And she didn't know that. She didn't, know, she didn't know it was me, but we actually ended, did end up getting that deal under contract. That's the snake house. Okay. <laughs> Watch okay. last week's show for the reference on the snake house. Oh, yeah. Was it last week? It we was. Were outside? Yeah, okay, cool. it was last week. All right. So we've got what to mail, specific postcard, and, and our partners, we have a whole list of every one of the postcards that we use and samples of it so you right. can just send it to your mail provider. Okay. Next is answering the calls. Answering the calls. The postcards, I mean, I, I can't speak for postcards that we haven't used, um, but people use them for a reason. I know the postcards that we use make the phone ring like crazy. Now, we have gotten more targeted with the people that we want to call on these last, I would say, two postcards versus the first two that we sent out because right, we're right. in our fourth, we're in our fourth month. No. Yeah, we're going into our fourth, going into our fourth month right. of the drop. And so this will be our fourth different postcard that's getting ready to fall the first week of November. Right. And if you remember, guys, we used to do only nothing but HUD and nothing but MLS. Right. Right. But there's not near as many deals as there was any, you know, as there used to be. Right. So we're looking for alternate sources and we started doing direct mail three months ago. Right. We're yeah. going this this next um, drop will be our first one of our fourth month. Mm -hmm. Good. And it's going out. Tomorrow or Friday. Yeah, to leave Friday, hit homes Monday. Okay, so answer the calls. Are you going to answer them live or are they going to a voicemail? Now, I realize if you have a full-time job, a J-O-B, that you're going to have to have somebody else answer them. So you can have Pat Live answer them, somebody like Pat Live or Answering Service or hire a VA, or you can just have them all go to a voicemail, right? Now, we have them go to... Uh, they go to Candace. If she doesn't answer the phone, it goes to Pat Live. It used to go to her and me, vice versa, right? Round mm -hmm. Robin. And then it would go to Pat Live. But now it's just Candace because all I'm talking to are the ones that have been qualified. Second right? chance. Yeah. yeah. It's like um, ultimately Larry's position has moved into instead of helping me handle the, the initial influx of calls is only talking to um, either – the ones that are qualified that I couldn't get a deal done with, right? Just to check behind me and make sure that nothing else could be done um, or, or or something like that. Qualified ones that I can't get back to. But I'm still calling people as well as as far as if they've already called in, Candace has qualified them. I'm still talking to them, but she's also doing acquisitions as right. well at the same time. All right. So answering calls, live or voicemail. Next thing, step number seven is close a deal over the phone or go on appointments. And we do all of ours 
over the phone. That's my phone. Right Nine here. out of 10. Yeah. I would say every once in a while you get somebody that calls from direct mail, especially if they're not, um, depending on what counties you're mailing to, if they're not used to getting postcards, uh, they're uh, typically they're older. That avatar is not accustomed to doing things over the phone. They want to look right. somebody in the eye. We had a guy um, call in just last week and said, you know, I I'm interested in selling these properties, but I want to look the man in the face. I want to take him to him, let him see. And I want to do a deal right there if we're able to work together. I don't I don't do the whole phone thing. So then you just meet people where they are, you know, if you can, yeah. if you have somebody in the area that can do it, then that's fine. If, um, but if that's not your model, you could pass on it. That's true. That's true. You don't have to do it. You can refer it to somebody that is in the local area. If you're doing virtual investing, doesn't really matter whatever you want to do. I actually keep a little yellow folder on my desk that says, and I print those out and they say, go look. So if I happen to be in a certain area, I can flip through that little folder, right? And look and see, okay, I've got three people here I need to meet with in Shelby or in Clover or whatever, right? Right. So after close a deal over the phone or um, or appointments is remail monthly. You've got to remail monthly. That's very, very, very important. You've You're, got to remail every single month, one time a month. Right. You'll get calls. And the way that we do it is we mail once a month, but at different counties every week. So the first week we'll have two counties, second week we'll have three counties, third week we'll have two counties, fourth week we'll have two counties. So, or three counties, two or three counties each week. And they mix it up because I think we mail seven different counties. I think you're right. Yeah, seven different counties. Each one, each county gets one postcard a month. That way you stay in front of them. Somebody that wasn't interested in selling with your first postcard may be interested in selling on your third postcard. Um, once they see something come from you, that is a little bit of a drawback, I think, with not sending the same thing every month is because you start to get branded if you send the same one every month. But there are pros and cons of each way, and you've just got to figure out which which way works better for you. Sure. And what we Candace, like to mix it up. Yeah. What Candace means is they're branded. Like if you're if you're maybe you're a home investors franchise or maybe mm -hmm. you have a company name like uh, whatever it is, XYZ buys houses or whatever, and you brand that. And then there's the generic uh, postcards that just say I buy houses or we buy right. houses or sell your house fast or whatever. Right. So we always use the generic ones. Right. But it also on the postcard, it says I'm a local investor in whatever the city is where that property is. Like right. if I'm buying a house in Spindale, it's going to say if we're mailing a postcard, I don't care if we're mailing it to Boston, Massachusetts. Right. Uh, but the property is in Spindale, North Carolina. It's going to say I'm a local investor in Spindale, North Carolina, mm -hmm. and I'm interested in making you a cash offer on your house. Right. Right. So that's 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 the way we do a little that. bit deeper explanation on that. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, remail monthly. And then you also want to have what's called follow up campaigns. They could also be Fo called nurture campaigns, nurture or follow up campaigns, because, listen, you're not going to get everybody on the first phone call. Mm -hmm. There's no way you're going to get everybody the first go round. You've got to put them in a nurture campaign to follow up with a monthly. And there's three different ways you want to do that. You want to follow up by email, by SMS, text message and RVM, ringless voicemail. OK, or just have somebody on Mojo or Vulcan 7 calling them every single month. Very important. In fact, we've got a guy. Until they tell you to stop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and we do take the remove me's off the list. Right. right? With every the, mailing. The, the DNC. Do not call. Right. And the 10th and final thing is if you're going to do direct mail, it's extremely important that you commit to a minimum of 90 days, a minimum of 90 days. Right. Yeah, it's gonna see. It's gonna take you that long to start seeing um, not traction because you'll get calls off your first postcard, or you should get calls off your first postcard. But um, depending on the counties that you're mailing to, the type of avatar that you're mailing to, the list that you're mailing to, um, you're it's gonna take a little bit of time for you to start seeing a. Is it a recoup of the money? Is that the best word to use? Uh, I would just say results. Results. You know, it might be sixty days till you get your first deal. You never, depending on your budget, right? Right, Depending on your budget. I mean, literally I've taken calls and within 15 minutes I had a deal deal under contract over the phone. That happens and then we frequently. Send somebody, somebody out. That yeah. happens more frequently than not, I would say. But um, depending on the deal type, um, how you're going to sell it, if you're going to assign it. So your, your end game can also play a big role in your time frame with how quickly you're going to be able to see results or not. 
Right. And we're getting a lot of, I like the cheaper houses for two reasons. Number one, there's a lot more people <clears throat> running around with thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars than there is with 150000 mm -hmm. right? The other thing is a lot of times we'll send out a postcard about one property and the person will say, I don't just have this one, I have six properties I want to sell mm -hmm. or eight properties or I have three properties or whatever. So we, a lot of times we get multiple deals. We mentioned this last week, I think. I think we mentioned in a few different weeks, just the residual effects of sending out one postcard, but with the type of list, especially with um, um, what is absentee owner list, mm -hmm. they could have multiple properties. Most of them do. Um, a lot of them get them inherited, but some of them are just investors that have had a portfolio of properties for years and years and years, and they're wanting to liquidate or whatever the right. case may be. But a lot of our a lot of our sellers have more than one. That's true. Or they come up with more than one somehow. We'll start out with one, and then all of a sudden, oh, I got this house over here now too. And a lot of people are just testing you That's because true. they'll say, "Let's see how it goes with this one," and "Let's see how it goes with this one." And then I've got some other properties if this goes well. Right. Right. Yep. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, you're right, Manny. You've got to have a budget. It's a business. It's a business and you've got to have a budget for your direct mail campaigns. Right. So, guys, share this video to win a one on one. You and I'll sit down and we'll spend 30, 45 minutes over the phone at least and uh, maybe more. Y'all better take advantage of this because I don't see this happening again. I didn't know it was going to happen today. Well, we've and never really even done it ever. Right. That's what I'm saying, because I am kind of the gatekeeper for his time and what he focuses his attention on and things like that. And he didn't run this by his integrator, which is me, before he decided to make this offer. Yeah, something that you want to hop on. And if any if of any of the brag episodes that you share, it should be this one. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. And last but not least. If you want to, uh, if you want to get some more information and apply to work with us personally, one on one, partner with us in your own local market. We'll help you get your direct mail up and running. We'll help you get your campaigns. We'll show you what to do and exactly how to do it. Why are you looking at me weird like that? I'm not. I'm looking at. You're, I'm actually like looking at our core focus. Looking over at me like. I'm not looking over at you. It's kind of weird. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not looking at you. Stop being weird. <laughs> All right. So anyway, go to LarryGoins.com forward slash apply. LarryGoins.com forward slash apply. Don't forget to get your investor's kit, 877-LARRY-GO, or text the word BRAG to 803-897-6063. Now, next Wednesday, we're going to be in here teaching with and training yeah. with partners, with partners getting their system up. And I'm not, it's not training. Okay. It's implementation. It's application. Right. So uh, we're going to be in here. So we might just broadcast live from here again next week with all the partners in here. Yeah, we'll play so, that by ear. See how loud it is. Yeah. If you guys uh, would be able to hear us, if we'd be able to get through the topic without uh, too much of a, being a distraction to them while they're working on getting stuff set up. We'll have right. to play that by ear uh, because we will have students in here. But we'll do all we can to get an episode on next week. Awesome. And thank you guys for watching. We really, really appreciate it. Thanks so much, and be sure and share the video, and we'll see you next week on Bragg. Bye, guys. Bye.